Hey everybody, Joel Moose Droppings by Import Sauce. Last thing we have to do to this engine, both block and head, before we can assemble it is paint it. So uh, we're just gonna walk you through what we are going to do on this uh, engine block and head overhaul, just visually, um, which is just gonna be getting this thing ready for paint. Sanding it down, painting it, clearing it, and then getting it ready to get this thing going. Easy enough, the engine obviously is out. You know that because you've been watching the series. But uh, since it's out, uh, we want to paint this thing. You guys saw the engine bay overhaul video with the uh, yellow mica metallic on there. Uh, we've already done the paint matched uh, timing cover. Uh, the last three things we have to paint are gonna be the cam gears, the head, and the block. Uh, for these, we are going to do a VHT uh, black engine enamel, and that's just because it is going to uh, really black pop off of the blue, but more importantly, inside the engine bay, that yellow mica metallic. So, uh, you know, we don't want to get too crazy. The uh, cover is going to really be the centerpiece, but we have the engine out, so let's go ahead and paint it. Uh, what we are going to do initially is this was uh, media blasted, hot tanked, water jetted, but with anything, uh, I don't know, close to 16, 17 years old, it's still going to have, uh, you know, some stuff that we want to clean up on there. The head actually isn't too bad, but if we look at the block, um, you know, up close you can see that we want to make sure that we give this surface the best opportunity for paint to stick to it. Um, a lot of crevices on all these, so what we're gonna be doing is using the Dremel, and we have a assortment of various abrasive brushes and wire wheels on there, and uh, we're gonna go through and just uh, give this a once over and make sure that it is fully uh, ready to go and for paint to stick to it. So we'll show you the process on the head and uh, you'll get to see the final finished product on everything when it's done. Not too much to show here, but eye protection. With this thing spinning at a zillion RPMs, we want to make sure if anything flies off. Gonna go ahead and put some earbuds in as well so we can listen to some tunes, but also just uh, kind of not have to hear this thing whizzing around and some gloves. And then uh, we're starting off with these abrasive uh, little wheels. Those will be great for, you know, kind of these areas, the flatter areas. As we get into the, um, down here on the block and kind of these grooves in this area, we'll try to get those in as much as possible, but in some of these deep, dark corners, we're probably gonna end up uh, having to pull out some of these uh, different wire brushes that will get in there um, and do the trick. And also we have a few more bits uh, over there which are hooked to a drill and have some more aggressive wire, some brand new ones that we may use. So we're just gonna go ahead and do a initial pass on uh, the intake side of the head. Uh, this is just an initial, um, you know, looking at what it starts as. Okay. First pass, looks like everything, not much, look much different, but everything is uh, cleaned up, ready for paint. And we went through quite a bit of these guys and one wire guy to kind of go through at the end and get the uh, corner. So we're gonna go ahead and get the other three sides going and then see if we can get some paint down. Complete head is done, we can see. It is looking good. We went through quite a bit of these uh, brushes, uh, about four or five wire wheels and uh, maybe 10 of these abrasive guys. I think we're gonna have enough to still do the block, but you know, it eats those up pretty well. So uh, this is ready for an alcohol wipe and for us to uh, lay down some paint on it. 
we actually forgot to shoot video uh, when we were uh, laying the first coats of paint. But here you can see the block, the bed plate on there as well. And the head is not pictured, uh, but we did paint that separately, so everything was taped off. Uh, all of the areas that uh, directly lead into the block. And then with a VHT black engine enamel, we went ahead and blasted it. One important note is uh, after we had dusted one can, we flipped the entire assembly over and then... From there, we went ahead and hit it from other angles uh, just to make sure that all those grooves and uh, all the notches and everything just really got good coverage. Here we are. Everything is done and uh, stacked up. We're not bolted together, but uh, the only thing we're missing is the oil pan. That was the first thing we painted maybe a month or two ago. But uh, we can see everything together. We still have some tape on there. And we thought that this was going to be the end. There we go. Uh, VHT black engine enamel came out really nice. But we're actually going one more step. We're gonna take the yellow mica metallic that we did on the engine bay and we are going to paint splatter this whole assembly here. So not quite done. Uh, we will show you the paint and show you uh, what we're going to do. So after we saw this entire thing together, we thought, man, this is cool, but how are we going to tie it into the rest of the engine bay, which has been uh, painted with uh, yellow mica metallic, as we saw uh, in the engine bay overhaul video. Um, so there is the spray can. We go down there, we get it custom mixed up with the particular paint code. And if you haven't seen the uh, engine bay overhaul video, check that out. But we can see that gold against the blue of the car and the paint matched uh, timing cover really pops. So what we did is we went and got uh, the same thing, but we got it up in, in a touch up size. So, um, you know, just a small amount. And what we're going to do is we are going to paint splatter this whole thing. Uh, the block and the... Uh, uh, bedpan still taped off from the enamel that we had done. We went ahead and retaped off the uh, timing cover, so that's all sealed up top to bottom. And what we're going to do is uh, find something to apply this paint. We have tried this before. We did a, a timing cover uh, previously where it was black and then we did the paint match blue splatter. Uh, this automotive paint does not really fling that well on a paintbrush. It's kind of a oily or a more sticky texture. So it's not uh, what you would think of grabbing a paintbrush and flinging it on a canvas. Uh, what we did there was grab a stick and get it just really heavy on the stick and almost kind of throwing droplets out. So we are going to open it up and we'll just do a few test uh, bloops over on our uh, paint test wall here. And then once we find uh, whatever the good uh, tool to use is, we'll show you what that is and then we'll just start flinging it on here. What we have settled on is pencil. So uh, this is considered a touch-up. It has a marble in there that shakes everything up. It does have an application brush. Uh, so this is actually a really cool product. If you do have some chips and nicks and scratches, you can go down to your local paint store, give them your paint coat, and get this uh, good size. It was uh, 30 bucks, but uh, we bought one from Volvo for the blue, and it was, you know, just a tiny little, you know, I don't even know the size the size of a q-tip and a few drops and that thing was almost the same price um so we've done a few uh flings and uh little splatters and uh settled on the pencil the brush wasn't really grabbing anything so what we're gonna do is take this and just start flinging and uh we'll bring you back when it's all done okay paint splatter is done we take a close look there's so much stuff that bolts on here that most of this is not visible anyways. But where it is visible, kind of has that cool murder scene look. No, it's not for everybody, but 
It's something.